Hi guys, my name is Lindsay and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and also The Real Real. I post videos every Monday and Thursday of my mystery unboxings from ThreadUp and also the Goodwill Blue Box. So if you do enjoy that type of content, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button for me um, if you enjoy the video. So I was in the middle of recording this and the second item I opened, I could not figure out what was going on with it. So I paused the video and I don't know how to restart it. So I'm just gonna restart this whole box again. Um, it is a DIY designer box from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Um, and the item that was tripping me up here is this bag. And it's so pretty, but I could not figure out how to get it open. And I still don't know if there's any trick with it, but I did get it open because there was no branding on the outside. But it's this black clutch with um, these stones. And this is a Judith Lieber, which is a, you know, very expensive brand. But the, cl the clasp here, I just, I don't know if there's a trick with getting it open, but it was like nearly impossible to open. So I'm going to not close it up completely until I can do some more research on it. Um, but there was this little cute little coin purse in it and it's in really excellent condition. So I don't know if maybe ThreadUp couldn't figure out how to get it open and that's why they didn't take it. Or if there was just something jammed in here, but I mean, it was literally the most stubborn thing ever to try to open it. But it is so pretty. So I've, yeah, I've never seen, you know, this brand in, in real life. So it's, I know it's very expensive and, you know, hopefully we can figure out the clasp to see what the issue was. Um, but that is amazing. I love this. All right. Um, and then the first thing I had opened before I got into that bag um, was a Stella McCartney top. It's just a short sleeve. And um, it does have a little button in the back. It was a size 36. Um, so pretty small, but it does have a couple stains along the neckline and um, down um, over here as well. So I'll have to do some work on this one to see if I can get those to come loose. Um, and anyway, so I, I did miss a whole intro about the designer box, but if you've never seen one of these before, they do run $120. They're considered DIY because the items are going to have issues that are gonna need attention. And um, you get um, seven pieces and for 120 plus tax. All right, so next we have some green suede booties. And these are um, Isabel Morant, okay. And they're a size 39. So they've definitely been worn. But they're super cute. I mean, really cute casual go with anything type of boots this is a good brand but it's you know not something that's probably going to resell for for a ton but they're in decent condition you know for especially for being suede there's no stains on them so i like those we have some more clothing here let's move these over here um, next we have a pair of pants. These are Max Mara. These do have the authentication tag on them. So these are just a brown trouser. Kind of boring. Um, they do look like they've been altered. You know, you can just kind of tell the way they're gathered in the back. So even though these won't go for much, I'm going to send these into the real real just so I don't have to deal with them. Um, I don't see a size. And again, they look like they might be altered. So I have sent a pair of these um, branded pants in before. I can't remember how much they went for. It wasn't much, but at least they were able to sell them for me. 
Um, next we have, looks like a scarf and it's Oscar de la Renta. It definitely looks like it could be vintage. It's kind of a green and blue. And it's got the tag here. And it's 100% silk. Yeah, definitely looks like this is vintage. So that's not bad. I mean, it's certainly a thinner scarf that you could wear, um, you know, along the neck or if you want to tie it on a handbag. It's a pretty color for spring. So that's, that's cute. I like that. Um, and we have two more things. This is Boutique Mochi, Mochi, Mochino. Mochino. And um, this is just a blue dress. So there's quite a few different lines of this brand. I don't know if this is one of the better ones. This feels like it's really nice quality. The last one I got was um, the Couture line with that little teddy bear t-shirt. So this is pretty. Um, I don't see any signs of issues with it. I'm also not seeing a size though. So that could be why thread up past on it. Um, they do not accept anything without a size. So this looks like a good contender to send to the real real as well. Um, just since it's basic, um, they should be able to sell it a lot faster than I would be. We have a pair of heels. These are Gucci really cool they're um like a a pink and then they have this large horse bit on the um on the buckle there so really cool they're suede and then they zip up the back and the horse bit is silver there is some marks along the heel but otherwise um in nice shape so it looks like the horse bit is just kind of setting there. It's not really attached on that side. I guess it's not supposed to be. Um, and look at the bottoms on these. I mean, I don't even think these have been worn, but they're a small size. They're a 35 and a half. So really, really nice. So this one, um, the horse bit is coming off. So it must be, um, you know, there is a little spike there that it should be going into the suede and that came up. So that will probably need a little bit of attention to try to fix it. But I mean, it's still kind of, you know, it's staying put. It's not going to fall off or anything. But again, they just really look like they haven't been worn. So I will need to see if that's something that I might be able to um, fix. I, I don't think that's really a huge deal with these. So um, this was a really good box, I think. Um, these shoes will probably close to pay for the whole box, I would think. Um, and then we have the Mochino dress. We have the Oscar de la Renta scarf for three. We have the Max Mara pants for four. We have the Stella McCartney top for five. We have this gorgeous Judith Lieber for six. This is amazing. And seven, we have the Isabel Morant boots. Um, so please let me know what your thoughts are. Um, what your favorite item was. I think you know what mine was. Um, and uh, please hit the like button for me if you haven't done so already. And I will see you on the next video. Have a great day.